I hope we get a good signal. What should I be attached to? Uh, no, I wouldn't say our Wi-Fi. I don't think our Wi-Fi. Should is I turn it off? Charger. The Wi-Fi? Uh, what kind of a, yeah. Doing a quick little live here. We're doing a little bit of uh, training um, so we can get tomato ready. Not really get her ready. Just another, another type of, another type of training. We're gonna uh, teach her to ride next to the uh, bike. Uh, not ride. I'm sorry. Run. Duh. Run. Run or walk next to the bike. And so this is her first time. We've actually not really ever done it a lot before. Yeah, with sumo you did it a little bit. We don't yeah. Do it with any of the other dogs. But we don't do it with any of our bullies as of right now. Um, but so tomato will be the first. What's right? the purpose? Why are we doing this? I don't like it when you ask me questions. Well, I don't like, know. Well, like I'm know, a student. Saying, that's what people are probably wondering. I know, but I don't. I, oh, I don't well, like it. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe explain while we're doing okay. this. Okay. I didn't mean to ask you. Like... <laughs> It's okay. Pop quiz. Pop quiz. Uh, we're going to some shows. Tomato. We're going to some shows. So one of the reasons we're doing this is because we want to exercise Tomato in a different way and build her muscles in a different way. And get her used to different things, which in her case is a bike. One of the things... Um, thank you, Dog Grandma. One of the things uh, we will be desensitizing. See, we're basically it's desensitizing. Um, She's a right naturally now. jumpy dog already. Yes. She's naturally jumpy, and so one of the things we'll be training her to be okay with um, for the show is, I didn't bring it out here, but it's uh, a wicket, which is what they measure, you know, they put over the dog's back, and it usually freaks her out. So we have one that we kind of train with. So as of running, would you want to walk her around it in a circle? Yeah. Just so she gets used well, to I it. I was moving the front wheel just so she gets yeah. used to seeing it move and doesn't Yeah, out. she's always a little... Jumpy. She's... Yeah. And so we're in this back alley too, which she... She has been here, but she doesn't come back here all the time, so she's, she's looking... Alert. Yeah, she's on alert, looking at other stuff. Hello, American Bully Cash. How are you guys? Uh, thanks for jumping on here. So right now we're still desensitizing... So we're starting off with walking by the bike. Girl, tomato, yes. <laughs> Lots of positive praise. So we'll see how it goes. Oh, you almost got on the bike. <laughs> you well, fooled no, me I'm too. Just, I'm just doing the next step. Okay, okay. <laughs> Come on, tomato. So if you guys are just joining, we are training tomato how to walk next to a bike. And you start off with anything new with training. You want to start off slow, get them used to things. Um, we have quite a few distractions back here. She's not usually in the alley. She's a little freaky <laughs> of a dog. She kind of just every when she's when she hears something, she's kind of like on alert. Girl, good girl. She's doing really really good That's though. This good is her mama. first time. We've never had her good by the bike. Girl. So this is what's up, Maryland Bully Camp. Thank you, Shell. Yes, it is a good idea. I appreciate the compliment. Everything you got to do slow with dogs. That way you don't freak them out. And like we said, she's a little bit, I wouldn't say skittish. Would you call her skittish? Yeah, she's jumpy. Yes. She's jumpy a little bit, so. Unsure. Unsure of life. Even with all the socialization. Yeah. But she's smart. her, her smart. being a little bit jumpy is just, she never yeah, really yeah. acts on it. Like she'll, she'll take, she'll have. She'll have a little jump, but she doesn't really do anything. She'll continue to stand there. Look at that beautiful uh, natural stack. What do you think, Marilyn Bully Camp? All right, so I'm gonna practice left and right turns. Last time her. they told her she was too skinny, right? They, they said, they yelled at us. Yeah. Literally yelled at us for bringing a big pit bull. Yeah. Now come on. So. We are increasing her diet a little bit, but we're not willing well, not to really, not we're not willing to make her unhealthy or fat just to win a little more at a show. We really we really like her um, fit. And I think she looks fit. Um, many, many people have said we need to put more weight on her, but 
We will. We're we're willing to go to a point. It's a good girl. Come on. To a point, we'll put a little bit, but as long as she's healthy. But also in the next couple of months, we're um, we're also increasing her raw amount. Practicing, practicing left here, so. And you're fine. And we are. Uh, we're gonna try to increase her just her general muscle tone and muscle. Uh, Which is mama? just something that looks awesome. I'm just gonna try going straight. Her age, yes, thank you very much, Shell. Yeah, What's her that, age huh? does exactly. Well, I mean, oh she <laughs> comes from two very different dogs, but yes, her age, she's not all the way developed. She is only uh, eight, 18, 18 months. So she's still, she's a young girl. Um, but I mean, this is her body. Big she's not, she's not well. super. Come on, tomato. She's not super thick like her father, Grand Champion Samson, because she has a lot of her mother. Um, but for us, we think she's a great Caesar Maria. Oh, thank you, American Bully Cash. We think she looks great. We appreciate that. They said she looks perfect. Ah, thank you. Yeah. She's doing pretty good. Yeah, she's doing really well. Yeah, so, so right now, this yeah, isn't really right going to build her muscle because she's going very slowly but it's your brakes need some oil she's like what she doesn't like that noise um tomato hasn't had any litter oh oh you meant her mom um ladybird yeah ladybird has only had one litter um and tomato she's still at zero so she'll be in the next year No, you're fine. You're doing fine. Good girl, tomato. Good girl. She does. She loves to run. She's young and looks great, like you said to a certain extent with increased weight. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're, with every breeding, we're trying to reach closer to the standard. Um, but we also have our own standards of health and in my opinion, this is it. I mean, this is a very healthy dog good girl. with a lot of good muscle. Girl, mommy. Yes. Good girl. And we good. haven't even really started working on her, her muscle, so yeah, exactly. That's a good girl. So. Yeah. Well, she's still not even fully developed yet. Yeah, she's yeah, that's what old. that's what Shell was saying. Yeah. Um, but yeah, when we go to the shows, sometimes we see. Um, dogs, we don't like how they look. Look they at the difference. Too much weight. Look at that. It's a totally yeah. different dog. If we could get her this. to do that in the ring, yeah. good God. That's what I said. You can never recreate that. <laughs> but here she is, folks, <laughs> doing it for you. Bonnie! <laughs> <Daddy. laughs> Bonnie, is that what you're looking at? Yeah. Uh, she weighs about 77. About. That's yeah. a pretty accurate number, right? 77.5. Most most breeders would inflate it a little bit. Nope, she weighs 77. Stephen tried to inflate her weight last time I was with him. And he was like, she was 80 last time. Yeah, it's, it's, it's she, okay. Yeah, I weighed her, she was 78. So, <laughs> that is, yeah, well, look, I said Shut it. Shut up. I, I literally said it. <laughs> but she's lost weight. She's, she's trying to look even. around me. It's a bunny. Oh, it is a rabbit, wow. Huge difference. Mm-hmm. Wanna go get it, tomato? Yeah, right. All right, ready to see me no. fall on live? No. Come on, oh, tomato. I thought you were gonna let her go. I was no. like, what? <laughs> she will well, she'll try to get that bunny. She'll never get to the bunny. Oh, there's two of them. <laughs> Your break is a nice sound. You don't want to go closer? What? You don't want to go closer to the bunny? Oh, no. <laughs> Down the bike. Hell no. <laughs> Come on. Look at that gate. I hope you're catching that. What? Oh, her gate? See, he's going to make me run. You're getting it, tomato. What a good girl. <laughs> uh, what a good girl. So we can get that gate. Oh, good girl. <laughs> it's going to include my gate, oh, which is girl. not not conducive to the front. Right, making a left turn. See how she does. It's the brake that makes her twitch. Good girl, tomato. <laughs> All right, let's get a little. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. 
I feel like I'm on that race movie we just watched. In the rain and everything. You guys, if you want to watch a movie um, about a dog and then cry a whole lot. I'm not. No. I'm saying if you feel like crying you do, don't watch it, don't and you've had uh, very touching moments in your own life with dogs that pass away, please watch the movie King Arthur. He's just Arthur. King Arthur? Totally okay, the dog's named after King Arthur, but it just came Maybe out. Arthur the King. Maybe Arthur the King. Mark it's a lot of crying um, about a dog. So we just gotta find a way to bring bunnies and they to race the show. across. It's like a team that races across. An adventure team. Yeah. What are you looking at? Bunnies. <laughs> good goodness, she's gorgeous. You gotta get off the live and get good video. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> barely breathing. Yeah. So I point out. Please hold still like that for me in the show ring, yeah. tomato. Okay, just bring the bunnies. <laughs> I wish I could take a screenshot of this. That's okay. I was gonna say, hey, if you're watching. <laughs> That's okay. Let me grab a screenshot. Hey. Oh, her foot was so heavy, she didn't want to lift it. Ready to, to pounce on bunnies. <laughs> Do you ever use flaxseed in the raw? It makes their coat so shiny and I feel like it keeps them healthy. No, we haven't, but flaxseed is definitely uh, one of those things we are not eating, which we should be. <laughs> nah. But no, we haven't used that. What do we yeah. use for coat? We use, um... Ready? Alright, let's go. Come on. Coconut oil in the food. Fish oil. Fruits. But yeah, we haven't done flaxseed. Oh, I heard... I, I just heard snuffling. I was like, what is that? And then I realized it's our dogs in the backyard watching us. Who's that, Voodoo? <laughs> Ladybird. Yeah, they're watching. I can't tell if Cupcake's over there, but she's just stubborn. She doesn't. She doesn't want to move faster than a certain speed. <laughs> well, I think she hears them. No, no, it's it's only when I go fast. Give it to all your dogs. Okay, I'll have to try it then. Okay, flax seeds. Do you just give them whole or do you grind them up first? Good girl, tomato. Hey, what's up? Salim and Megan, Heart and Soul Bullies, Jersey. That's how Kingston is as far as he gets to a certain speed and he doesn't want to go. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Come on. Come on, tomato. Come on, yeah, tomato. see, he's pulling. Didn't Sumo do that on the bike? No, Sumo. Did he? Okay. Some dogs just love to run. Tomato likes to run at her own, on her own terms, you know, like chasing things or playing a game. Cupcake would run. Yeah, Cupcake would Cupcake totally would run. run. Cupcake would definitely run. Probably Ladybeard too. Why are you coming right for me? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at him. He's pulling her. The line is straight now. That's pretty funny. I think the dogs in the back have something to do with it, though. Because they're making noise now. She doesn't seem distracted by them at all. She's barely breathing, honey. We're barely moving, so. So, yeah, Salim and Megan, we wanted to just add an extra exercise in for her. Um, I secretly think think that she more needs to like run up and down hills but neither of us really want to do that so maybe we can just bike up and down hills <laughs> uh. all right now you're going really far <laughs> now she's bunny hopping her butt that's funny come back 
Yeah, she's doing really good for her first time. Are you going fast right now? Going faster. <laughs> I'm trying to get her to jog a little bit. She's running, sort of. She's prancing. She's, yeah. Come on, Tomato. Come on, Tomato. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come yeah. On, so this is her first time. So she doesn't really know what the expectations are either. Um, she can run a lot faster than that. <laughs> she can run really fast. She's a very powerful, powerful runner, powerful jumper. She surprises us with how fast she can jump. And her speed is very fast. I think she's just, she's just not conditioned for long. Well, she's built for sprints. Yeah, she's built for sprints. And she can sprint too. Don't, don't let her physique fool you. <laughs> She's probably the most explosive yeah, in the she's house. she's very, that's what I was just saying, actually. Yeah, she's super fast. Good girl. Very fast. Take off. Fix your, fix your... Uh, uh, Alright, I'm going to get off this good. live here. Oh, yeah, see? She can hear them. Yeah, she can for sure hear <laughs> Alright, everyone. Thanks a lot for joining and watching our first bike ride. <laughs> no, she's not breathing heavy at all. So, yeah, she could have, she could have put a lot more into that. <laughs> Have a great Sunday, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>